O God, you have caused this holy night to shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that we who have known the mystery of that light on earth may also enjoy him perfectly in heaven, where with you in the Holy Spirit, he lives and reigns one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. Well, here we are. Some of us in the sanctuary and some of us joining from home via Zoom. And I am ever so grateful that we are able to gather this night, however we may be gathering. Wearing masks while we sing is not something that we are used to for Christmas Eve having to join in smaller gatherings of friends and family is also something we are not used to. Yet we, we are here, all of us together, in prayer and with beautiful music. For Christmas Eve 2020, at St. Mark's, all of us had to gather via Zoom. And I was here at the altar alone, and Connor Norris was back in the narthex, keeping an eye on my cell phone, which was joining me to the service on Zoom. And he was in the narthex so that we could be far enough away that I would not have to wear a mask. And we had beautiful videos of the music for the service prepared ahead of time, thanks to many of you here. And we did indeed celebrate Christmas Eve together, despite the fact that we were in many different spaces and places and time zones. And the next morning, some came to the front doors of St. Mark's to receive prayers and Christmas communion. Then last Christmas, we were able to have a 7 p.m. Holy Eucharist with Kim and Owen providing the music. However, they were required to do all of the singing for us while we were able to only sing in our hearts due to concern over the spread of the virus. And we were able to have a pop-up Christmas pageant with those who were here who wanted to participate. And for our later service, some were here in the sanctuary while many were joining via Zoom and again, we had Yana and Mary who were singing for all of us. So this is indeed such a gift for me to have us take a little bit further step in all of this, able to celebrate with yet a bit more of the familiar. And we were even able to have a carol sing before the service, albeit with everyone wearing masks, but we did get to sing along, sing along together, beloved carols. And at our earlier service, we got to sing along with Owen and Kim. Again, what a gift. Who would have thought back in March of 2020 that being able to gather with elements of the familiar would be such a journey. Yet with each service, we have indeed celebrated the birth of Jesus, the birth of Christ among us, of the light coming into the darkness of our world. And what a gift indeed it is when we can experience these moments, 
moments of quiet connection and reassurance that we are not alone. For me, this Christmas Eve service is just one of these moments. We have all come together to be here together. Each one of us could be doing any number of other things right now. And yet, for whatever reason, we are here together. Hearing the story that we hear year after year of God's coming among us as one of us, as a little baby lying in a manger, singing carols that we have sung many, many times, singing of the glory of God and the wonder of it all. If we cannot accept mystery, then we miss it all. Can we accept the unexpected? And in the midst of our busyness, our gathering here together to celebrate the mystery of God's coming among us allows us a moment, even if brief, a moment in which we can allow God to be born anew in each of our hearts. As Meister Eckhart reflected, what good is it to me for the creator to give birth to his son if I also do not give birth to him in my time and my culture? This then is the fullness of time when the Son of God is begotten in us. So we are called to be God bearers in our particular time, in our particular place, in our particular way. And as, as we have continued to gather here over the years, whether in the sanctuary or via Zoom, we have indeed celebrated the birth of Jesus, the birth of the Christ coming among us, and we will continue to do so. For we have been strengthened for the holy work of being bearers of that light which the darkness cannot overcome. In the words of Howard Thurman, when the song of the angels is stilled, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and princes are home, when the shepherds are back with their flock, the work of Christmas begins to find the lost, to heal the broken, to feed the hungry, to release the prisoner, to rebuild the nations, to bring peace among people, to make music in the heart. Amen.